Hello all, welcome to OFA Studies YouTube channel. In this video, I wanted to show you an interesting library, which is nothing but like this Faker library, which is available in Python. And this library helps you to generate the dummy data or the testing data. If you are working as a data engineer, when you are building some big pipelines, instead of waiting for how to get the data, you can use this library to generate some CSV files as you want and then maybe use that data in your pipelines in the data engineering. Not only for data engineering role, any role, be it maybe a developer, you are developing a web application, you need a database, you are, a, or you, you are developing APIs, you need some payload, any kind of a data, basically you can generate using this Faker library in Python very easily, which will almost look like a real-time data, uh, but it is actually a fake data very easily you can generate. Let's understand this library because this library, I feel very much helpful to anybody who is developing something, be it maybe whatever the role it is. So what is this faker? Basically this faker is a realistic looking fake data. As I said, it will generate a dummy data or a fake data, which is most realistic looking, okay? Uh, for example, names, addresses, emails, phone numbers, company info, text, dates, credit cards, lot of other things it will generate very easily by using this library in a python i will show you all that demo and whatever the data you generate using this library you can seed the old data into some test or dev databases that means insert and maybe play around it when you are developing your web application or apis or maybe data engineering projects or you can use the data for demo purposes for unit testing load testing also for any data masking internal presentations like when you are presenting internally you might need data masking so you can use this data there right i will practically show you this and that will give you more sense to it so firstly right uh, create a python project i mean uh, create a folder in your local and uh, use that folder as your python project and have a virtual environment using this command there python space hyphen m module v in it and activate that virtual environment once you activate that virtual environment install that uh, fake library or faker library okay so i think we need to install faker library not fake so let me quickly do that until there and then we'll we'll see a couple of sample there by running how the fake data or the dummy data look like which generates from this faker library so let me go to visual studio code i have a visual studio code here i'm opening a folder because that's how you open projects in visual studio code you will choose a folder as a project folder and you will use you will add the, all the python files there so i'm navigating to the c drive python folder and maybe i want to create a folder here maybe dummy data that is the project name so that is the folder i use so i will select that folder so right now folder is empty so you see nothing there what i will be doing it here is uh, i will be creating a new python file called test.py so let's assume in that test.py python file, I actually write the code that will use this faker library and create the dummy data. So now, instead of directly using this, say so let's create a virtual environment. So in that virtual environment, all the required libraries I will install. So in this case, I need a faker library. Let's go to run, uh, maybe here, terminal, new terminal. Let me close this GitHub Copilot there. And here, Python space hyphen m, that means module VNB, virtual environment module, my ENV. That is the virtual environment I am creating it. And when I do that, if you observe, it will create a my ENV folder there. And that folder contains, it's like a sandbox, a minified version on top of your OS. And on that sandbox, your Python code will run. In this case, test.py file will run. Okay. So let's wait for this. It will it will get lot of library files, script files, and all. Uh, that that's how it create a sandbox for you, or a virtual environment for you. So let's wait for this to over. Yeah, it it got completed. I you can see my cousin on the terminal came back. So I need to activate it. So to activate it inside this my env, you will have scripts, and inside that you will have a active. So that is the file you have to run to activate it. So my env. Inside my env scripts active. When I run that, if you closely observe, 
this you see that my env got activated now that is the reason that symbol came now previously that symbol was not there for the powershell but now it got that means right now i am inside the virtual environment okay so i can use this pip list command to see what libraries got installed in that virtual environment from the python side and you can see only two libraries were there pip and setup tools i need i need that faker library so what i will be doing it here is i will be writing pip install install faker so when i run that command it will actually get that faker library and it will install it uh, on the virtual environment so let's wait for this installation to complete once the installation completes we will again run this pip install pip list command to see whether that library got installed correctly or not you see command executed successfully now i am running pip list and this time maybe i should see i should see that uh, uh yes you see that faker library is there that means it got installed successfully okay so now okay let's use the cls command to clear the whole terminal and now let's go back to our coding part so this is where we have to use a faker library now and write the code so i have a sample code already uh it's like a hello world kind of a code i will quickly copy paste and run and explain you so what we are doing it here if you closely observe uh, i am using a faker library i am importing that faker class and then i am creating an object to that for faker class or a module you can say that and on that object you have name provider email provider address company phone number and i'm printing all of them so the moment i say name or email automatically a random name will come for me which will look like a realistic name okay so how that is happening that's the magic of the library so what i will be doing it here is i will be i will save these changes control s and in the terminal i will try to execute that and show you so python space test.py so when i run that uh, you, you 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 see that see i i got a name i got an email because second one is an email then the address then the company then the phone number right i got everything so how how i got all of that information because of the faker library and not only that actually i can use it locally also here so if i say en mine hyphen uh, in that means india so if i use that right so let me clear that and uh, now if i run i will be getting the details which look like an indian name and indian address and everything the phone number and everything okay the company the address the name so because that that locally feature whatever the locally i give accordingly the data will try to mimic that particular local environment or atmosphere actually in this case india okay so what are these called these are called providers basically and uh, you built in faker has so many providers already for you so i just listed few uh, there are so many providers which you can use it so if you want to know about that providers right so i have a link here i will try to share this link in the in the video description too this is the faker documentation you can google it also faker python library documentation you will get this url uh, let me show you this window here so you get this url here this is a faker documentation link and then now here if i go to the providers uh, and if i scroll down you see the standard providers and you see so many standard providers so name address color company so many things will come automatically for you when you use that particular method there to get that details so if you want to uh, create a custom provider maybe see for example here uh, a com currency will give currency company will give company but maybe i want to create my own provider as a method and that will return something how i i, I intend to return even that is possible i will show you that in a just a bit so if i go back to my one note see uh, we, we used this code and we it generated a random names uh, there is something called seeding okay uh, you can seed the value uh, you seed seed some number to it why that seeding is helpful is when you seed something uh, it will always generate a random names but a consistent data uh, most of the times you might need a consistent data when you are testing something because if i use name it is getting something for me if you use name you if it if it is giving something for you but the, the test result may not happen properly when when you want a consistent data to test something then use the seed so i will practically show you that so let me copy this whole code 
and let me go to the Visual Studio code. I will replace this code here. So again, from the Faker library, I'm taking that, creating an object to it. I'm seeding some random number there. You can seed anything. And I'm printing names, okay? So observe these results below on the terminal. Let me save these changes. Python space test.py file. So it printed some names, okay? So because I used a seed value there. So what I will do now, now I will comment this. So let me comment this and save it and let me rerun this code. See now, now I got a different names. When I use the seed, this, these names I got, I got. When I don't, when, when I haven't used, I got a different names. So let me rerun once again this file without changing anything. Will I get the same names? Mostly the answer will be no. So I might get a different names now, okay? Because I'm not seeding anything. So the consistency will not be there. So if I run it now, you see, I got a different names here and I got a different names here. If I use the seed, then always it will get a same same value. So that will give a consistency to you. So I will save these changes now. I uncommented the seed value 42 now and I will re rerun this. Now, if you closely observe, these are the values which I got when I used the seed. And again, the same seed when I used, I got the same values. I can use any integer value as a seed, but if the value is same, then the, uh, the seed value is same, then the return values will also will be same. So this helps uh, to, to generate some consistent data, which across the team members can use for testing purpose. Uh, so that is one important thing to know. And locally, as I said, uh, depending upon what locally you use, uh, the data will come in that way. For example, you want to use multiple US and India, you can use that. Uh, that way, one 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 record will come in, when you, when you do that looping on top of that uh, faker object, then one will come in India, then one will come in US. Again, India, US. So that loop will continue that way. So I told about providers, all this name, email, address. These are called providers, standard providers, built-in providers that will give random. But what about if I wanted to uh, generate my own provider? Like I wanted to create my own provider that will return something in a in some fashion. So let's take this example and I will explain you. So I am copying this. So this is the way you create a custom provider. So I paste this here. Uh, if you if you if you see this code closely. So what I am trying to do. So from the faker, I am importing that faker module. Then from faker providers, I am importing the base provider. Then create a class called my provider that is the provider name which I am creating it assume that way and uh, pass that base provider to it uh, as a constructor there uh, okay then inside that you define a method and this method is going to be your provider for that method the self object will be get passed the class own object and uh, on top of that self object use that random met element method uh, this will basically generate the random number uh, so, uh, it will take the list of values and from that a random value it will pick automatically from you because I want to generate a number something in this fashion which will have either ELEC or home or a flash then the year uh, then some random number like triple zero one two three you see right with a six digit so this is the format in which I want to generate a random data there is no provider for it so I am creating it so how I am creating it I created a class called my provider and pass the base provider to it and I am creating a method called SKU, SKU, okay? Uh, that is, that's, this, is a, this is one of the SKU, so you can imagine that way. Uh, and I am formatting that. I am creating, literally creating it using a random element method, then the inbuilt const providers like year and random number. And I set six digit. So when I run this, right? So once, once I have this class on the object, I can use the add provider to add this my provider. And from that moment on the object, I can call this SKU method so that will basically help me to uh, act this SKU method as a provider and get the number always in this fashion. Uh, it will, this first portion will change because of the random values what I gave in here to the random element method. So I will run this code and show you here CLS. Uh, let me save these changes. Uh, I will say Python test.py. You, you see this, I got this number which is actually random number in a similar fashion so when i when i run once again it might give something else when i run once again it might give something else so let me run it once again see this time it gives something else once again it gives something else right so but but always the format is maintaining it because that's that's what the custom format of the data what i want so this is the fashion you create a custom providers 
in faker library okay so this is very helpful when you want to generate some custom format data which is aligned to your organization as per your testing needs and one last thing is uh, this this example will be most useful ideally when you are working as a data engineer mostly because my most of the audiences are data engineers so you guys might need see this dummy data to be created and maybe dump it into a csv file maybe you want to take that csv file put it in a fabric and play around with something Right, so how to create a dummy data in a CSV file using this faker library use this code It will create a CSV file for you automatically very simple code. I will explain you after pasting this code onto my editor here uh, If you see this code, I will try to give all these samples on the video description too So basically from the faker library uh, sorry from the faker library importing the faker importing a CSV library uh, Creating a object of this. Uh, I'm using a ion. Let's use India. Okay locally there uh, what i want is i want uh, columns like id name email phone city and join date and what i am doing i am creating a variable called rows which is a list inside that list i will add all the rows in a json fashion so that is the reason i am using this rows dot append and a json id name email same column names using a fake object and the providers i am generating that values randomly and all this append method on top of the rows object is inside the for loop where around 500 rows I am spinning up. If you want to spin up more than 10,000 rows, change that number to 10,000 also. It will do that. So once you have all the rows and fields uh, using with you are you are trying to create a customer.csv file uh, where uh, you will be taking using the CSV library. Um, you are taking all these uh, rows and fields, right? Which is uh, which, which which is here, right? You are taking everything. And this F is nothing but like this customer.csv file object what you create. And uh, then you are creating the CSV file with that file headers. Then you are adding that headers and then you are adding the rows as well using the right rows. This rows is basically all the 501 rows what you added here. So let's save this. When, when I run this, it should have it should add a customer.csv file here. We can see that very quickly as well. So let me let me run this code okay let me say cls first and let me run this code now you see that it created a customer.csv file there and when i open that you see id name email phone city join date and you have all the data so all 500 rows came automatically for you right that is the beauty of the faker library so you can even create a 10000 rows with the same logic by changing this range value inside the for loop okay so this is one very use important or useful use case which uh, which uh, data engineers or data analyst people might use it most of the times or even data science people they wanted to take some dummy data and test it accordingly maybe their models whatever they create right so i hope this video you guys find useful guys uh, if uh, anything you have you want me to create a videos or any topic or anything you want to suggest please feel free to do comment that and if you like the video like the video uh, I mean press that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel uh, Don't forget to pass on this video to your colleagues as well even for them. It will be helpful Thank you for watching. Have a nice day